Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and welcome to our YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we're going to show you how to unbox and assemble the Radiance Power Lift Recliner, also known as a lift chair. Now this is going to be in the petite wide size. You can get this in a petite wide, which is going to be wider for someone that's shorter. You could also get it in a large tall, which is for someone that's tall. You can get it in a medium. There's a lot of different size options, uh, but this particular size we have not made a video for. We want to show you the size comparison of a petite wide compared to a medium, small, large, and a large tall so that you can see what the petite wide looks like. So it's going to be a lot wider. It's going to be, uh, the, the back height is not going to be as high. So it's a very particular shape. Um, very popular. The Radiance is a brand new lift chair with a heated pad on the backrest. It has complete control of the headrest, the footrest, the lifting motors. Everything is independently controlled. We'll show you how all that works with the remote control. Before we get too far into this introduction though, I do want to say two quick things. Number one, if you want our uh, product catalog right here, all you have to do is go to our website, mobilitydirect.com. Click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog. Just fill out the simple short form and you'll get one in the mail within one to two weeks tops. I also want to say that if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, hopefully you are already, but if you're not, by subscribing you're automatically going to get entered into our monthly giveaway raffle. Monday next week we're going to have our next giveaway raffle winner that agreed to allow us to film. Not everybody wants us to film the giveaway, so unfortunately we aren't able to film the giveaway. Some of them are out of state, we mail it out. But next week uh, we're gonna film the giveaway winner that was selected for last month. And they agreed to allow us to film. We're gonna travel to them, bring them the scooter, so stay tuned. But I am gonna show you the last uh, winner, or one of the last winners, just so that you can see it is legit and we'll be right back with you. Nice to meet you, Barbara. This is our lucky winner, Barbara. She's a little emotional right now, and I know it's not gonna solve all your problems. I know you've had the flood here in Southwest Florida with Hurricane Ian that did a number, not just to you, to a lot of people coming in with their scooters that have been flooded, but we're happy to be able to at least get you something to get you mobile again, get you on your feet. This is the Maxima by Pride Mobility. It's a really good scooter. We've tested it we know it's it's gonna last you a really long time barbara so oh it's it's our pleasure thank you thank you for subscribing and supporting our youtube channel i mean you know i try to tell everybody that you know all you have to do is subscribe and you could be the next lucky winner it's that easy it's that easy oh don't cry it's okay so enjoy the scooter i'm going to show you how, how it works here and that's it, just wanted to show our fans that this is legit. It's not a scam. A lot of people out there don't believe it, but as you can see, we're here and she's getting her free scooter. So that's all it takes. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. You like it? Oh, I love it. <laughs> that's great. I love it. That's awesome. Well, let me get the seat belts out of the way here because they're oh. dragging a little bit. You don't have to wear the seat belt every time, but just so that it doesn't get caught in the wheels, you want to maybe like, let me adjust it for you. Oh. You don't have to use it. I could always just strap it from behind, but it's it's safer to use it. You know what I mean? There you go. Take her for a ride. It goes on the grass too. Don't be scared. It's got big old tires on it. You can go on the grass. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. What do you think? So I wanted to just let you know too, if you need any kind of service, repairs, we're right down the road. So you can always count on us, anything you need. Um, and yeah, that's it. So just wanted to say congratulations. I oh, hope you enjoy you. it. No Hi. problem. Hi. I'm, I'm, you're, full, you're just beyond <laughs> words at this point. I really, really am. Well, just let the, the audience know that you all you did was what? Subscribe? I subscribed. That's, and you got and I, called? Yes, and I got called. And I love the channel and and you guys care about us. You see us, you know, you 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 don't realize how invisible you become until you get in Walmart and you're on a mobility scooter 
and you guys see us and you know what we're going through we definitely you see know? you we know and that's why we're doing this once a month barbara so i'm yes. so glad that the scooter ended up in you know your hands someone that really can use it and appreciate it <laughs> you have no idea <laughs> Yeah, really have no idea. I really thank you so, so much. No problem. Can I get a hug? Yes. Another hug? Definitely. I love making thank people you. happy. And you doing know, this, you, you know, brings a lot of joy. Oh, Just bringing joy so to people happy. is is awesome. So congratulations. Thank you. No problem at all. I've got a lot of work left to do, and this is going to help me so much. You got so it. So much. Well, as soon as we get a rear basket, we'll come bring you one, too. So you have some storage capabilities for the back. You can put some groceries, whatever you need. All and right. this thing's going to last you a long time. Um, it does have a warranty with it, too. So, you know, if anything happens, just give us a call. I will. We'll be there for you. Definitely. Definitely. All right, Barbara. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You got it. All right. So welcome back again. All you have to do is subscribe and you could be the next lucky winner. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, you're not supposed to use a knife to cut these boxes because if you go too deep, you could cut the chair. Uh, I have a technique, I go sideways, I just nick it around the corner, and then the tape usually breaks. You could nick it a little bit, just be very careful because if you cut the fabric, that's not covered by warranty. I've been doing this for a long time, so I know how to cut it at a right angle, but I don't recommend cutting it if you're not experienced with cutting packaging open carefully. So just gonna go ahead and open up the top so that you can see from the top view what you can expect if you order one of these and have it shipped to your home with the free shipping option. There's a basic uh, cover on the top, cardboard with some silica packets here, or desiccants to keep everything nice and dry. And I'm on the side where the backrest is kind of slid into the box and it's sitting on top of the base. So what I do first is I grab this um, backrest, kind of want to make sure that these cables aren't lodged in there like that but the backrest can come right out so that's my usually my first step take the backrest out and lay it down so there we have it now pay attention here what you're going to want to do is identify the orientation of the base the legs are down here so if we push it forward it's going to be sitting on its legs and that's what we usually do when we take these things out of the box. Now I'm going to reach down in here and grab the side pads, which go on the sides of the backrest. I'll show you how to install those in a bit. But basically what I do, and I'm going to turn this box. We're going to move the camera angle so that the cameraman's positioned over there. And I'm going to show you the trick here. So if you only have one person, again, we want to make sure that the legs are down. And what I do is I tilt the box forward so that the chair is on its legs. And at that point, you can get it out with one person. Well, as long as the person getting it out has the strength to kind of do what I'm doing here, you want to shimmy it out. Slide it. Maybe come back over to the other side. I put my foot on the cardboard here so the cardboard box doesn't slide with me as I'm shimmying it out and eventually it's out just like that now the user manual is down here it's very important that you read the user manual in its entirety it's going to have some instructions in there on how to assemble this chair as well but if you just follow along with this video you should have your chair up and running in no time. All right, so we cleaned up a little bit and I just wanna show you a couple things. Back here, uh, we're gonna bring the camera on over so you can see that there are a total of one black, one yellow, one gray barrel connectors here. These are the female ends. And then you have these two little JST connectors that are gonna be um, for the heating feature. So. You're gonna to need to use these, and these two arms right here hook into the, the backrest that has the female parts that kind of cover right over these, and they hook into it. Uh, now, on the bottom of the chair, there's a hardware bag. Once you have that out, you open this up, you're gonna find a couple of things. 
So number one, you have the battery backup and the power cable, and then your remote control. So make sure you get all of this ready for installation. There's a little rubber band around the bag. Just carefully remove that rubber band. Second rubber band around the remote. And the remote itself is pretty robust. You've got an up and a down switch to go from the lifted to the reclined position, the heat option, the lumbar support adjustments, the backrest support controls, the, I'm sorry, this was headrest at the top and lumbar right here. So you can bring the headrest back or forward with the top two. You can depress or compress the uh, lumbar support. You can bring back the backrest or bring it forward, and then you can lift the leg rest or lower them. You have some memory options and a USB charging port for your smartphone or other USB powered devices. All right, so the next thing I like to do to prepare the, for the backrest installation is to just kind of put the backrest laying down like this on top of the chair in the same kind of position that it's gonna be when it's installed. The reason why I do that is because now I can actually see all the connections back here and I can get to work on them. The yellow and the black, I'm sorry, the yellow and the gray and the two JST white cables are showing. Um, people get confused, they're like, where's the black cable? Well, the one that connects to the black cables for the remote control. So you wanna slide the remote control through the middle and have that cable going right through the middle. It's long enough to be used on the left or the right side even though it's coming through the middle. What you don't want to do is have it coming through the side because it could get pinched on the motor where these arms are moving. So connect your uh, remote control cable first. It just There's no wrong way to do it. Line up the pins. And then this little bracket keeps it in place so it can't come apart. You want to do the same thing with the yellow. Same thing with the gray. And then get your uh, two JST cables. These you can do in any uh, orientation, doesn't matter which one goes to which. And then you're uh, almost ready. So at this point you wanna get the cable for the battery uh, backup and power supply. So this end, it was zip tied or twist tied, like a bread twist tie. Get that in, plug it into your power supply to the corresponding female connector. There's a little harness clip, just like the other three that we were working with. Another little bread loaf twist tie on the power cable that you'll want to undo. and get the corresponding end of this wall outlet cable plugged into the battery backup or the power supply, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we're almost ready to go as far as the connections go. So now that this is all connected, um, what you want to do is kind of get these arms to go into these sleeves up here. So this arm is gonna slide right into the sleeve up here on the right side, and same thing on the left. There's a male and female arm and sleeve that will have to line up. I like to do one at a time. So I'm gonna do the left one first, not go all the way, just rest it on top, and then find it on the other side too. Make sure it's in, and then we're gonna change the camera angle to the front. You're gonna see what I basically do let it fall back until it doesn't go back anymore, and then push down on the right side and then the left side, or you can go from left to right, but you wanna basically hear that click where it's locking into place, ready? Boom, that's it, it's locked in. So if you pull up now, it's not going anywhere. You know it's locked in, and that's what you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and power it up. Oh, one more thing. These are the pads for the backrest. Now you'll see that there's a number on each one and those numbers are going to match up with the numbers on the side of the backrest. So if you see this one here on the left says number two, lines up with number two. So the outside bars that curl inwards are going to hug around this and you're just going to line it up. We're going to come from the top here so you can see it lining up. 
See, making it line up good, push it in firm, and then slide down, and it should catch on. There it is, so it's locked in. I'm gonna go on over to the other side, same thing. We're gonna line it up. This has to be up above, and then you're gonna slide down once they're lined up. That's it, they're in. So now the chair is fully assembled. At this point, we can plug it in. I'm just gonna grab my extension cord. All right, so the chair is assembled. We have power. Uh, I do want to point out that we have on our website this brochure, which you could see the size dimensions for all of the different models. And this again is the PR, PLR 3955 PW. So the model number is PLR 3955. The PW stands for petite wide. And the seat width on this is 24 inches, which is the widest you can get. But the backrest the height is 23 inches, which is the lowest that you can get. So let's just confirm that. About 23 inches to the top of the headrest there. And they're probably not counting to the very, very top. They're probably counting where you put your head. So it's about 23 inches to where your head's going to actually rest, which is usually about the middle part of the last rounded part of the seat uh, backrest. Now on the width, you can see we've got just about 24 inches. So this is gonna be the widest option on the seat width and the lowest on the backrest. So if you're shorter, a little bit wider, or if you're just short and you wanna have your, four, your furry four-legged friend with you, like your dog on your couch with you, your recliner, some people actually buy this for that reason. A lot of people out there love their pets and they want them right next to them so that they can watch Netflix on the weekends and chill. So if you want a lift chair that's wide enough for you, it's gonna allow your dog to sit next to you if you have a smaller dog, that's also another great reason to consider the petite wide. Now, we have a large tall version of this chair. Basically, it's gonna be um, right here and it's almost the same it is the same fabric color so if you're tall but not necessarily wide the large tall is going to have a seat width of 23.5 inches so half an inch on less on the width of the seat but the backrest is going to be 31 inches as opposed to 23 so obviously if you're tall this is going to be the best option for you now, if you're shorter and you need a little bit more on the width, this would be the best option for you. And of course, we do have a small and a medium, which are right in between, which a, the small has a 20 inch wide seat and a 25 inch high backrest. And the medium has a 21 inch seat width with a 22 and a half inch seat back height. So I'm just gonna demo this chair, show you a little bit of how the different features work on the remote control. Um, I got into it the wrong way. You're supposed to lift it up all the way and utilize the lifting feature. So we're gonna back up a little bit with the camera so you can get a full view. But essentially just by holding the toggle switch that goes up and down, if you hold it up in the upward position, it starts lifting you and it gets you out of the chair uh, easier. So you don't really have to rely so much on your muscles that you would use to squat or to get up. So, you know, if you think about it now, I'm already halfway up. I don't have to use as much of my leg muscles to squat down or squat up. So when it's in the lifted position, you back up, get your caboose in line, sit back, and hold that down button on the main up and down switch in the middle of the remote to start lowering it. Now that little toggle switch that I'm holding down right now is gonna lower me down to the floor into the seated position, and if I keep holding on to it, it's gonna take me eventually into a full recline position with the leg rests all the way out. So I'm just holding that one button and it's going all the way back and it'll keep going. So that up and down switch is gonna get you all the way to the recline position and all the way to the lifted position with the leg rests all the way out when it's in a full recline position. However, if you want to control the leg rests independently, let's say I want my back rest where it is now, but I want to lower the, uh, 
foot rest? Well, I just go to the leg rest controls, which are at the bottom, right above the memory option one and two button, and I could just choose to lower the leg rest on its own, completely independent. If I want to bring them back up, I just use the button to the left of that. So the one on the left brings it up, the one on the right brings it down. Now the back rest has its own independent controls as well too. So if you want to have the leg rest all the way out, I'm holding the leg rest button on the left, I'm going to bring them all the way out. And now let's say I want to bring my back rest all the way up. It's already up, so if I want to bring it down, I use the left button. And let's say you're the type of person that likes to be reclined, but you want your leg rests down. Well, you can, you can do that. So you have tons of options. And you could also do the same thing with the headrest. There we go. Headrest is independently controlled as well. Uh, this is the reason why these chairs are called infinite position lift chairs. You might see that term being written in the description area or in the specifications. Infinite position just means that there's probably an infinite amount of positions that you could customize this chair to be in. And last but not least, we do have the lumbar support, which it's basically like an inflatable airbag right in the lower lumbar area that either inflates if you hold the right side lumbar button or deflates if you hold the left side lumbar button. So you can kind of see if you zoom in on my rib cage area, as I start to inflate it, my stomach's kind of being pushed outwards because that lumbar airbags filling up and eventually you know it builds a nice curve in your lower back which could feel nice for me sometimes I have lower back pain and having that lumbar airbag fully inflated keeps my back from bowing the wrong way and it extend it's hyper extends it outwards which is a nice comfortable position for me at least so all in all um, this chair is great not to mention it does have the heating feature. Unfortunately, I can't demonstrate a heating feature with a video, but if you are nearby one of our many stores, we carry this model in stock all the time. It's one of the most comfortable chairs out there, and if you want to come by to test out the heating feature or just test it out, come by. We would love to earn your business. Now I'm going to show you one other thing, which is a neat feature that this chair offers. Uh, only one other model made by Pride offers this feature, and it's called the Atlas Power Wheelchair, which, I'm sorry, the Atlas Lift Chair, not Power Wheelchair. But the Atlas is very comfortable, too. Uh, this is just the newest model. So with the Atlas and the Radiance, this is the Radiance, you have these retractable armrests features. So on one side, you've got a cup holder, and on the other side, you've got a wireless charging station for your phone. All you have to do is drop your phone on that, and it's gonna wirelessly charge your phone, as long as your phone's capable of taking a wireless charging station. So, gone are the days of the wires. Everything's wireless now, Wi-Fi, wireless charging, wireless headphones. Pride Mobility is keeping up with the innovation of technology, and you can now charge your phone wirelessly. Or, of course, if your phone doesn't have that feature, you've got the USB charging port on the front of the remote that you could plug your charger right into. Again, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out our website or call our non-commissioned sales experts for a hassle-free consultation. If you want to learn about the color options, the size options, or any other of our, one of our products, they'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, have a great day.